With my daily work, I help our customers to create, optimize the way they deliver the deploy applications to production. Tonight, I'm going to answer yes to the question, do we still need CI, continuous integration? Okay? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, why it is a question? Uh, so, I hear a lot of skepticism about uh, continuous integration systems are not needed. They're just like breaking bills and people are blamed for that or dozens of emails they receive when the bills are broken. And uh, people say that it doesn't provide any value to them and it shouldn't be it. This is one point I'm arguing against. And another one is that, uh, uh, well, if we take it literally, integration is not needed in microservices world. This is also what people are saying. And I'm also going to, to discuss this quickly. Uh, so, very shortly about me, I come from Ukraine, uh, a year ago I moved here to Amsterdam, I hope one day to be able to deliver presentations in Dutch, um, I'm studying. Um, I built my first, I compiled my first application in 2004, it was previous ports. it was as simple as make and install clean, I didn't know what, what was happening then. Uh, later I started working in software development and then I learned a lot of different ways how applications can be built and how they are uh, used uh, in continuous integration system and why continuous integration systems, are ne uh, well, we need to use them. So, what is CI? Wikipedia says, mm, interesting, that uh, continuous integration is a practice in software engineering of merging all developer working copies to a shared mainline several times a day. And I think this is not enough to describe what continuous integration is. So ThoughtWorks going more or less in the same direction, but they added that each check-in is then verified by an automated build, allowing teams to detect problems early. And I think this is to the point immediately, because continuous integration systems are the foundation for what happens next. And what happens next is build, test, and deployment. And this is actually what we care about, because uh, the new code is committed, the builds are triggered, we're testing, and we're deploying. And this is what continuous delivery, the idea of that we need to streamline, make it as easy as possible. And we implemented a lot of changes over the years to make it happen. The builds were manually scripted, now they are automatically done whenever we commit something to the master. Tests were done manually, now we're doing automated testing, but not only automated, but we are talking about uh, testing pyramids, where unit integration tests, contracts testing line and the foundation, we need to focus on them. Same with deployments and infrastructure. Uh, before, we were deploying artifacts that were thrown over the wall uh, to the servers that already existed. And now we are recreating infrastructure all the time uh, and deploying application immediately when the quality criteria are met after the testing phase. So from this perspective, actually continuous integration is the fundamental thing to have because on top of it uh, builds the continuous delivery. This is what we care about, how to get our applications to production. Um, if we talk about integration, actually, I think that it's actually right. We used to do the software differently than uh, it's in distributed computer world. Um, um, we used to work in teams, okay, we are developing our modular component, and then integration happens in some place to build more monolithic application. Uh, in microservices world, this is no longer the case, because what we're doing here is that we are actually having the same components, but they're deployed in the into production, and we're integrating them. We no longer build in one product. We our product consists of, of the of the a lot of little uh, components and products. But in order for this to happen, we need to do the same. We need actually to have the builds, the tests, and deployments of every one of those components. And if you think of this, then continuous integration systems become even more needed because you are doing this at scale now. It's not no longer one uh, application that you are deploying. It's ten, a hundred more uh, people have it. Differently. So, and the role of continuous integration systems now are to manage these workflows, to automate them, to orchestrate them, because without them, well, we can do the same. We can build application, we can test application, yeah, we can deploy, but how would we create it with the process? How would we make it streamlined and easy? And how we may we make reports? Continuous integration system just evolved over the years to be good at it because people are using uh, them for this purpose so this is how evolution works. Uh, people steered the uh, continuous integration system to be good at it. So, uh, yeah, this is it. Uh, 
I really believe we need continuous integration. I really believe in found fundamental practices everyone should be doing. If you know good continuous integration systems, or you disagree with me, or you agree with me, we'll talk about it. Come today, come tomorrow, I love talking about this.